video. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. Look at your own fireplace, bud. I love the bed. It looks so cozy now. Oh my God. Now you think this is something that it will stay with him forever because we're not moving anytime soon. So I think he's going to love it. <laughs> he's just a happy go lucky kid. He can really put a smile on anybody's face and it doesn't matter what's going on. <laughs> I was at five months pregnant when the doctors noticed that his brain was not forming correctly. He was born at 32 weeks, so he was premature, only weighing a little over three pounds. We had all kinds of concerns. So one week after he was born, he was born on Wednesday, January 26th, and one week to the day, he had his first brain surgery. At the age of probably about three or four, we started noticing he was having seizures. For a good portion of his life, he had normally four to six a day. So that really stopped him. He had been working on walking, and we had to really stop because he was having seizures so often. So we had to stop that walking journey and we did um, more of a wheelchair, but he, he takes it in stride. The blood draws and the nurses and the care and someone taking care of him other than mom or something like that. He really just, you know, still tried to make everybody else in the room happy. This was a time where we were really battling the seizures. Like I said, they, they were just awful. So it was his neurologist, Dr. Kruger, who actually submitted his name for Make-A-Wish. Like we didn't, we didn't even know about it. Like I was like, oh, I, I never even thought about it. Sweet Dreams has really gone above and beyond all the expectations here. So this was a, I have to say a very, very special project for us because I decided to reach out to a university in the area and they did have a design school and they were so excited to get involved in this project when I explained to them how much he loved the theme cars from the Disney Pixar movies and two professors and three or four of the students came out and we met at the house and I wanted them to meet Dominic, obviously. Met the family and went through all the needs and wants and then they, they were popping when they left here. I mean, they could not wait to get back to their workrooms um, on the university campus and then creating it. One of the, the main pieces we were thinking of is we wanted kind of like a, a bookshelf, a place where he can put his books. But also we heard from the family that he was obsessed with like fire, with flame. And we knew we wanted to make it in a safe way. So we knew we wanted to maybe put like a screen there that we can have some sort of like fire display. So we kind of wanted to combine those ideas. And one of our architecture students here kind of first he started sketching the bookshelf and how it would look like and how big it would be and just going through that design process. So the bookshelf is one of our favorite pieces, the one that we took the most time on. And it, I mean, it was great. So we started off just designing it and then we moved it on to the, the, the wood shop. I mean, we had to sand it, prime it, and paint it. And then once it's against the wall, we wanted it to look kind of like a back of a car. So we wanted to get also those lights in the back there that um, maybe you know, we can turn those on and off as well as he would like. We'll just make it like go bright and make, make it alive. It's really fun to get the young people involved and get them learning that this is what life is about. There's so many people in need and how great to learn these giving techniques and qualities and aspirations young in life. Honestly, it's pretty fun and it's for a great cause. So it's like, it feels great because you know you're doing something good for someone, but also you're learning in the process. And so I feel like it's like the best of both worlds. It's just that thought and that feeling of goodness. And so here is the one day, this is you, this is Christmas for you, and it's just for you. Let's make this day special. When I think of Make-A-Wish, I just think of angels on earth. That's very simple. Somebody going above and beyond to help someone else.